welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. If you don't know what the JSS is, it is my Discord and Makeshift Clan as well. If you would like to join, just click on the link down below in the description, the Discord link, and it'll take you straight there. We have openings, I say, ill. it sounds like a job description. Just know that we accommodate PS4 players, Switch players, and Xbox players. And I myself play on Xbox. And also there's a whole general chat channel where you can, you can just talk about whatever you want to. Just so you know. Now we're here on battery death. And you know, I feel, I'm, I feel like I'm right at home because the color of death is black. The map itself is pretty dark. And I'm wearing dark clothes. So I should feel right at home, right? I should. But when I see a team go up here and then one of them aims at me, and you, you can tell because of the glint, twice. Um, yeah, I got spotted. And good thing I dropped like that because now they don't know where I went. I dropped from their line of vision and I stayed dropped. So now they, looking in my direction, got to think, where did he go? And that's if they saw me. Now, the tower got used. Okay. Now, as far as I know, that doesn't provide any significant advantage for them. But it does now, literally right now, because then somebody uses the detector. Unless the tower and the detector are right next to each other, which they're not, I'm caught in a bubble and nobody knows where I'm at either. Damn, that works out. So, I'm being a little bit slower through here. I say that as I'm running at full speed right now. Because that team was last spotted through here. But then, I hear gunshots at the container. Yes, I already know somebody shot off one of the locks, but while the thing is going off, somebody else is shooting. And that's not the container mortar strike, that's a team's mortar strike. So there's definitely more than one team here. But then everything falls quiet. Did somebody die? Or did somebody run away? Only one way to find out. Only one way. Now, I don't want them to see me. So, I'm going to trade off speed for stealth and go prone and crawl up here. Right now, I'm trying to get eyes on the container. I'm trying to get eyes on the container while making sure they don't have eyes on me. And there we go. Somebody is running toward the container. Now, why is that the case? I don't know. Now, you see, I scope in for a bit just to try to, like, make sure I keep eyes on him. But it's going to be hard to do so because there's one person running up. And I'm like, OK, maybe different teams or survivors of different teams. But then I hear four sets well, two more sets of footsteps. And that's a whole trio. There they go. One person's leading, other person, other two people are trailing. Now, here, literally, this is what I thought. The guy that's leading them has enough time in front of them to hit the detector. And the two guys behind them were staying behind just in case the leader says, yo, there's somebody right next to y'all, go kill him. But that's not the case as we hear gunshots that sound like popcorn going off in the oven. Microwave oven. Microwave. Who the hell says microwave oven? So, some more people have died. And another person has died. Or at least that's what I'm counting in the back of my head. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and, and I'm pretty sure I am in this, but this lobby was pretty small. If one person achieves threat, then it should be only myself and maybe one other person left. 
But remember, this is teams number one. And number two, it feels like everybody's getting a piece of the action. Like everybody in that trio. And there you go. You've seen one tracer going up, and this guy freaking crouch walking and blasting somebody down definitely killed somebody. Now, the biggest mistake I can do right now is hit either the detector or the comm station. So I'm not going to do that because they j number one, they just came from here. And number two, if I hit the detector, what's that going to tell them? Somebody's behind you. To me, stealth is everything. To others, ammunition, mortar strikes, and body armor is everything. Hey, man. However you want to play the game, however you want to have fun. So, last scene on this slope of this gun emplacement, I hush. Now, why do you think he would do that? Why do you think he would do that? Here's my guess. This guy's watching both the comm station and the detector. Well, he messed up. Number one, I heard him. I mean, you can't really do anything about that. When you hear somebody, you hear somebody. Number two, he emoted. Guys, don't emote in the encounters. Please don't, unless you know for a fact that that looter who was wearing the, the green raincoat has no weapons and they're just trying to be friendly. Don't, don't emote. And number three, the mistake he made was going prone. But look, given his weapon, his M249, no, his UK, I mean, who could really blame him, right? But he was set up in a perfect ambush position. He was. But I just kept tabs on him. And it just so happened to be where I was right to where he was near his last spot of location. Now, here's some mistakes that could have happened. When I seen him, I could have just got on one knee and started blasting with my VSS. I could have. But I didn't because I wanted to see what he was going to do. Yes, he was running straight toward me. Yes, his weapon was in his hand. But I still wanted to see what he was going to do. A mistake that most players make that gets players killed is that they pull the trigger at first sight. They think it's aggression at first sight. Now to some players, M2E, NHH, HNH, clans, to some players, that is the right thing to do because they're built like that. To me, no. I'm going to let you make your mistakes. I'm going to let you get comfortable. I'm going to let you get set up. Then that's when I pull the trigger. Now look, I'm not saying I'm the greatest vigor player of all time. That's definitely not the case. If that was the case, then my survival rate would be 100% and my KPE would be 4 exactly. That's never going to happen. I am by means, by all means, not the greatest vigor player. There are encounters on my channel where I showcase other players who do a hell of a lot better than me who pull off a whole lot more stunts than I do. But at the same time too, I'm going to show you what I do because maybe you, as a new player, will pick up on what I do and, you know, you'll learn off of that. Yes, you did see that. I left an L85 behind because I have another VSS on me. What does that tell you? I love my VSS. I love it. And... Yeah, if they nerf this VSS, I kid you not, I am going to uninstall the game. And I'm going to bring y'all Hello Kitty Online for every time slot bigger will be uploaded. So tell the devs, either buff the VSS or leave it alone. 
And I think if they buff it, it'll probably break the game. It will. How will they buff it? Um, gee, I don't know. Like, two more hit points of base damage? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I'm not the greatest Vigor player by all means. There are times when I suck ass in this game, and there are also times where I kick ass in this game. And I try to bring y'all both. I try to, but look, on stream, I can't avoid it. Either I suck ass on stream or I kick ass on stream. It's, uh, it's one or the other. And if you don't know, yes, I do stream. And my Twitch link is in the video description of this here video. But tomorrow, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, not tomorrow, because it's Friday right now. So, in the next 12 hours, no, not 12 hours. In the next day, there you go, within the next 24 hours, I'll be sure to remind you of my stream. And also, thank you for staying to watch this long in a video. Because, and here's a hint for a future video, I won the heart of a subscriber yeah a subscriber was watching me play this game and him and I played a game and you'll see that encounter really really soon I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one until next time peace